Well, studies show that up to 50% of all pregnancies will end in miscarriages. Anyone who has experienced a miscarriage knows how devastating it can be. We sat down with one woman who wanted to share her story. She had two miscarriages, and she has some words of encouragement for other women who may be grieving the loss of a child. Christina Flores with more tonight. They did an ultrasound then, and they couldn't find a heartbeat. Jessica Lindsay was 14 weeks along when she had a miscarriage. And they told me that the baby had been in there for five weeks. Um, and it was dead. A year later, she would suffer a second miscarriage. I couldn't tell my husband because I felt like I had done something wrong or I was the problem and that something I had done had contributed to the loss of, of this child. Jessica's loss is something many women will experience. Some statistics say that up to 50% of all pregnancies will end in a miscarriage. It, it's very, very hard on a mother when she loses a pregnancy because I, I believe that bonding between the mother and her fetus occurs very early on during the pregnancy. Dr. Donna Dazon Townsend specializes in maternal fetal medicine at Utah Valley Regional Medical Center. She says there are different factors that may cause a miscarriage. Earlier on during pregnancy, a lot of miscarriages are related to genetic or chromosomal abnormalities. Um, less or so in the second trimester and the third trimester. Um, there are uh, anatomic abnormalities of the uterus that can be related to miscarriage. Dr. Dazon Townsend says after a miscarriage, most women will have a successful pregnancy down the road. A year after her second miscarriage, Jessica found out she was pregnant. I was nervous because I thought that, um, you know, it was just going to be more of the same and I had a hard time getting attached to the baby up until that point because I was afraid I was going to lose it. The pregnancy would be a healthy one and about two months ago she gave birth to William. He now joins his three older siblings. Through her experiences, Jessica has advice for other women out there who may be grieving a loss of their own. Time lessens that pain, but I would, I would tell them not to give up on trying to have kids that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Christina Flores, 2 News. Well, for more information, go to our website at KUTV.com and then click on the Baby Your Baby link.